Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and yes, you've heard it right, the superstar hip-hop duo Outkast has officially filed a lawsuit against the EDM duo AT Aliens. First things first, uh, well, why? Well, it all boils back to the fact that back in 1996, Outkast released their sophomore album, well, titled AT Aliens. Mixing the names of their hometown Atlanta, Georgia with the term alien to create this new word, AT Aliens. This lawsuit claims that as far back as 2012, this EDM duo started using the name AT Aliens as their stage name, presumably because they were Atlanta-based as well. Well, seemingly both parties here have sort of gone their own ways, done their own stuff up until now. In August 2024 is where Outkast has now seemingly filed a lawsuit against the duo for trademark infringement. As per their lawsuit, here, Outkast has claimed that they selected the name AT Aliens for their EDM duo to trade upon the tremendous fame and goodwill associated with plaintiffs, that being Outkast's AT Aliens album, song, and mark, or at a minimum to call to consumers' minds Outkast's famous AT Aliens album, song, and mark. In junction with this, and at the end of this 38 page lawsuit, uh, Outkast essentially is saying that uh, AT Aliens, you need to stop using the name AT Aliens. Uh, you need to also pay us for money, for remedies, uh, for uh, the use of the name, claiming that essentially they have made money off of the name that Outkast has created and also pay for legal fees. So what kind of case does Outkast actually have here? Well, in a funny twist of fate, it was actually AT Aliens who trademarked that name, AT Aliens, back in February of 2020 under the guise of AT Aliens Touring LLC. A trademark that Outkast is actually explicitly seeking cancellation of as per their uh, remedies of relief. And it wasn't until 18 months after that initial trademark that Outkast themselves trademarked the same word, AT Aliens, under the guise of their high schoolers LLC. So it's seemingly pretty clear cut here that uh, Outkast doesn't really have a case against AT Aliens because AT Aliens trademarked it first. Uh, case closed, right? Uh, not so fast. Well, the United States Patent and Trademark Office specifically has a FAQ about these situations exactly, so I'll just read it here. You become a trademark owner as soon as you start using your trademark with your goods or services. You establish rights in your trademark by using it, but those rights are limited, and they only apply to the geographic area in which you're providing your goods or services. If you want stronger nationwide rights, you'll need to apply to register your trademark with us. You're not required to register your trademark. However, a registered trademark provides broader rights and protections than an unregistered one. So even though AT Aliens rightfully and legally trademarked the term first, Outkast becomes a sort of trademark owner as being the ones that started using the word. Specifically in this case, the lawsuit here states that the AT Aliens mark is a coined term invented by Outkast and is inherently distinctive for plaintiffs' goods and services. What gives Outkast a kind of greater case here is that this isn't just some random word that's used in daily life. It's specifically a word created by Outkast. Like this would have immediately been thrown out if let's say Daft Punk said, hey, we made an album called Discovery, therefore no one can use the word Discovery. That is ridiculous. But here, the lawsuit states that the word AT Aliens was invented by Outkast. Before Outkast created it, it was not used in the cultural lexicon and it did not exist. So those are all the sort of facts that I've gathered up to now. And so let's kind of talk about my opinion on this whole thing and uh, why this matters in any capacity. First things first, I feel like Outkast actually has a pretty strong case here. As much as I love the AT Aliens music as well as Outkast, I actually very much enjoy both them in their own different respective realms of music and music culture. Uh, Outkast were clearly the originators of the word and have been the sort of copyright owners since 1996 when they released their sophomore album. Do I think this lawsuit needed to happen though? No, not at all. My guess is that this is just sort of a fire under the butts of AT Aliens to get them to change their name right away and that the two parties would quickly settle, I'm assumingly out of court. It appears to me, and I believe that yes, AT Aliens use the name for their own group as a sort of homage or callback to Outkast and the fact that they were both from Atlanta and they're using this kind of space theme and I get it. But yeah, it probably is trademark infringement based on the letter of the law here. Do I think it was done intentionally to use the word AT Aliens to confuse the audiences into kind of listening to the AT Aliens music rather than Outkast and take away profits from Outkast? 
Absolutely not. I think it's honestly a little silly that Outcast believes that and states as so in the lawsuit. But again, I think they're being very just firm and strong arming Italians here. I understand that Outcast has kind of been holding a firm hand here and asking for Italians to change their name with all this kind of legal jargon in this lawsuit. But um, I really think asking for monetary compensation is going a bit too far and egregious, in my opinion. Depending on how long this process could take, uh, it could potentially be catastrophic for Italians here. In the three sections of relief five, six, and seven. Outcast is explicitly saying you need to pay us in any capacity, either for legal fees or damages in the past and damages coming in the future. Like they're saying you need to pay us a big chunk of money, which is kind of crazy. If this does go to court and Outcast at least wins part of the case here, um, I think the cost of the relief that AT aliens will have to pay out here um, would probably kill them as an artist, I think. So that's why I'm predicting and really hoping that this will be resolved quickly and settled out of court. I don't think there's a need or reason for this to go to court and be a heated legal battle when it could just be a simple, hey, we use the name, great. Now we'll change it. But yeah, my guess is Atelians will have to change their name, maybe just pay for Outcast's legal fees, um, and then everyone will hopefully go back to making some great music. So yeah, that is the facts up top about this case and then my thoughts on the end. But uh, yeah, I'm curious to see how this whole thing will play out. Again, I'm hoping this is just simple and quick and dirty and there's uh, not anything more hectic that will happen here. But uh, I'd love to hear what you guys' thoughts are in the comment section below. Any and all thoughts down there. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.